and gents, this is uh, talking about lifestyles in the past. It's 6.2F. Here we go. Right, the very first one here. When I was 11. Now, this is a different type of when here. Okay, uh, when I was, when I played, and all this kind of thing. We use this word hours and not then. Okay, I've had a lot of videos recently which use then. Okay, this is a different structure. So hours, ich, but it still has an effect on the word order of sending the verb to the end of the clause. So hours, ich, war. So we got here. Aus ich and then war now elf so elf yada out let's just put in uh, elf yada out my diamond 11 years old okay v das excuse me it's a sudden itch on my nose so we need to remove that and put this at the end of the clause over here like so so i was so we need to invert that verb backing on verb so war ich so, als ich elf Jahre alt war, war ich so dick. I was so fat. So, fat, okay, is so dick in German. I consumed, I ate, I consumed, etc. Ich habe, okay. Now, consumed is consumiert. So, consumieren, it's a verb of a Latin background. So, you've got consumieren, that is the dictionary infinitive form of it. Uh, to form the past participle of ihrem verbs, cross off the n, place it with a t, but do not put a ge here at the front. This then needs to, ladies and gents, go to the end. So we just put that over here. All right, and we'll put that to the end like so. Now, uh, a ton of calories, or loads of calories, okay, set phrase of uh, loads of anything that. The, Okay, German, we have this phrase, eine, eine Menge, or eine ganze Menge. Yeah, eine ganze Menge, lovely phrase, ladies and gents. Now, uh, you've got jeden Tag is every day, or daily, we'll use that one instead here, is täglich. And you can see, no, it's come back again, it might disappear in a minute, we'll soon find out. Okay, so täglich. So that, ladies and gents, is our answer for number one. Als ich elf Jahre alt war, war ich so dick, ich habe eine ganze Menge täglich konsumiert. Okay, I consumed a ton of calories every day, and I've just realized, uh, where's the calories gone? Okay, in fact, we have not finished at all. Okay, how dare you say that we've finished when we haven't. So, now, calories, ladies and gents, is Kalorien. Okay, so Kalorien, I'm just going to put that in here. Okay, I'll probably change the um, the font for it, just to emphasize, okay, just to focus, to focus, ladies and gents, to focus, to focus, to focus, to focus, and I'll get there in a minute, yes, no, yes, got it, that's how I want it, so calorian is like that. Time manner place, take is a time phrase, it will be a lot better here instead after ich habe. So, ich habe täglich eine ganze Menge Kalorien konsumiert. Okay, I consumed a ton of calories every day. And there's one I made earlier. Right, so the next phrase, she drank a few bottles of wine. Okay, so every day. So we're basically translating up to this bit and this then bit the, is the second part of the sentence. Okay, the second clause, and got liver disease. So let's deal with, first of all, she drank. So, Z hat, now trinken is to drink, okay, uh, it's past time, it's uh, not regular, so it becomes getrunken, okay, same change in English, think about it, I drink, I drank, I have drunk, okay, so that's going to go eventually here, over here. So, um, a few bottles, so ein, bar, flaschen, so ein paar Flaschen uh, of wine is uh, Wein meine Damen und Herren so ein paar Flaschen Wein now every day we have täglich in the last phrase or we can have jeden Tag so it's the time phrase there ladies and gents so we need to sort this sentence out so sending the past participle at the end of the clause yep I said it yeah Put it over here, like so. And jeden Tag is the time phrase, ladies and gents. And we need to move it over here, like so. Uh, why has it changed the font type? I do not know. Thoroughly annoying, as you can tell from my voice. Right, and 
So you've got und, ladies and gents. Got liver disease. So, uh, Z hat. So, hat. So, this is tying up with uh, Z, obviously. All right, now she has got, or she got, Z hat be common. So, the past participle is be common. With BE verbs, you do not put GE at the front. So, we need to put that at the end of the sentence. Uh, like so, uh, ladies and gents. Now, liver disease. Now, German for liver is Leber. So, it's quite a similar word. Okay. So, eine Leber. Okay. Krankheit. So, eine Leberkrankheit ist das hier. So, sie hat jeden Tag ein paar Flaschen Wein getrunken und hat eine Leberkrankheit bekommen. Right, moving on to uh, number three, ladies and gents. Here we go. Right, now, I prefer to sit in front of the computer. So, now, jetzt, time word. Now, I prefer to sit. Now, uh, first of all, you deal with I sit. Uh, now, remember, it's inversion. You have to have verb as the second idea. So, it's uh, zitze. So, zitze ich. And then you deal with the prefer. All right, it's like gen. Ich sitze gen. I like sitting. Okay, literally, I sit like. I sit prefer and so on. So, prefer is lieber. Wie das. Now, in front of or before is for. So, we need to deal with that. It takes uh, dative here. So, uh, sitze ich lieber vor dem. For der and das words is dem. That you replace a uh, der or das with. If it was a D word, you replace it with der. Okay? So, for dem computer. Und surfer. So, surfer. Um, literally, surf in the internet in German. Surfer im internet. So, surfer im internet, meine Damen und Herren. A real couch potato. So, what is a real couch potato in German? But you want to know. So, eine richtige, meine Damen und Herren, eine richtige Stubenhockerin. What a word. So, here we go. Stubenhockerin. Okay, and uh, with this particular case, we're talking about someone who's female. Obviously, to make it male, cross off the IN. Uh, here would be ein richtiger. You get rid of the E, but add on ER here instead of just an E. Okay. Uh, we don't need couch. Get rid of it. Right. Okay, ladies and gents. That is number three. Number three. So, number four. Let's move on. Here's number four. So, uh, he stopped a year ago. Okay. So, the first bit goes up to here. So the, the, okay, the first clause is here. So, air. Hat. Now, aufhören is to stop. It's a separable verb. Okay. Let's just put it in bright lights, ladies and gents. Bright lights. So, aufhören. So, you need to put the GE here in the middle. Cross off the EN and replace it with a T to form the past participle. So, here we go. Let's just do that. So, aufgehört. So, aufgehört, meine Damen und Herren. Wie das? Now, a year ago. Now, that ago is four. So, you put the four first. VOR, like that. And then you put whatever it is, okay, in terms of the time. So, for einem ja. So, here we go, ladies and gents. So, for einem ja. Now, need to put that past participle. Need to move it, ladies and gents. It needs to be moved. Here we go. Let's move it. So, er hat vor einem Jahr aufgehört. So, he stopped a year ago. Weil, because. So, we've got a vile situation coming up, ladies and gents. Vile warning sirens should be going off. Okay, so, we have to look and say to ourselves, where is the remaining verb here? And it's was. So, the German for was needs to go at the end of the sentence. So, war. Let's just uh, put that there. Uh, cut it. And put it over here like so. So, uh, now, um, let's work out, so damaging is so schädlich, so schädlich, meine Damen und Herren, is damaging. Weil es so schädlich, um, to his health, or for his health, okay, is für seine Gesundheit. Für seine Gesundheit, so für seine Gesundheit. 
Okay, let's just get that in there. Look at the word order. I think both are acceptable. In the book, it's got for Seine Gesundheit instead of so Shadley. So I'm going to just cut that and keep it in line with how the book sets it out. Uh, there we have it. Er hat vor einem Jahr aufgehört, weil es für seine Gesundheit so schädlich, so damaging war, was. Right, let's have a look at that. And let's move on to number five, ladies and gents. Right, my older brother uh, lived so well eight years ago and he did not want to drink alcohol or smoke cigarettes. Okay, this sounds like someone who used to live well but doesn't anymore. So, my elder is my older so, el ter bruder. My elder bruder means my older uh, brother. Now, lived. Okay, we use the perfect tense here. So, hat. Now, gelebt is lived in the sense of lifestyle as opposed to actually living in a house, etc. So, uh, so well or so healthily, okay, is uh, so gesund. Okay. So gesund in the sense of healthily, well in the sense of health, yeah? Now, eight years ago, so we uh, had just had that in another sentence, the structure of using for, okay, and acht jaren. For acht jaren is eight years ago, for acht jaren. So we've got a time, manner, place issue there. Okay, so this is the first clause that we have to deal with. Move it before the and, ladies and gents. Okay, we've got a time phrase here. We really need to move that as well. So let's just have that uh, just here. Like so. Meine ältere Bruder hat vor acht Jahren so gesund gelebt und and uh, he did not want to. Um, okay, so this is a little bit messy here. Now, dealing with he did want. Okay, first of all. Now remember... We don't have do's and don'ts, etc. in German. So we want to say here, he wanted to not, in a sense. So, er, now, wollen is to want, okay, okay, like that. Form the, um, the past tense of it, the imperfect version of it, uh, cross off the N and replace with uh, TE. And that's actually the form used for ich as well, ich, sie, er, and so on, all right? The plural would be uh, Volten, I uh, add on an end. So, er volta, he wanted, okay, let's just get rid of this first of all. Now, um, he wanted not alcohol. Now, we, alcohol is a noun, okay, so that's going to have an implication as to how we translate not. It's not going to be nicht, okay. We literally want to say he wanted no alcohol drink. That's the literal German word order. So, der Alkohol is masculine. So, it comes after a verb. So, we have to add on en. So, keinen. Okay. And then alcohol. Um, I don't know why it's uh, suddenly changed that. I don't like it when it does that. I do not like it. Okay. So, I'm going to have to do it this way. So, alcohol. Meine Damen Herren means, uh, okay. It means what it says. Very similar to the English. Let's just put this over here, like so. Um, this is going to be treated as a second clause because we have verb to smoke. Now, to drink is uh, trinken. A second clause is going to be treated in a minute. It's all part of, it all agrees with er volta. Er volta is, is the modal verb that kicks off uh, the sentence, if you like. So, er volta, kind of alcohol trinken, okay, or okay order so order or okay um now uh, smoke cigarettes so cigaretten okay and smoke is uh, rauchen which is the verb therefore that needs to move i just want to point out that in the book this might be slightly different it might be uh and cigarettes there's not a great difference he wanted to drink no alcohol or smoke cigarettes, okay? Um, the reason I say is I've got unt down here and I've got unt on my backup copy over there in the back on the second computer that I've got in the background. So you might find it's unt in the textbook just so that you're aware of it, okay? Um, what I'll do? Let's save argument. Okay, right, there we go. 
Here's the finished one. It's actually using Unt, as you can see, as opposed to Odder. Let's just change that because that doesn't, yeah, because that's, that's what it means. Yeah, know what I mean. Right, so er wollte keinen Alkohol trinken, didn't want to drink any alcohol, und keine Zigaretten rauchen, and smoke cigarettes, and smoke no cigarettes. Just realised I've left out keine, let's just go back in there, okay, even though you've got no cigarettes here, but obviously that not applies to both alcohol and cigarettes. So yeah, you're quite right, we do need the keine in there. Okay, so the kinda needs to definitely go in there after all. Okay, there. So kinda cigarette and rauchen, und kinda cigarette and rauchen. Got a bit messy towards the end of that one. Hope you uh, understood that all right. Despite that. Okay, ladies and gents. So nowadays, Hoyt Sutaga. Okay, wunderbar. A fantastic phrase, Hoyt Sutaga. So need inversion. I eat, ich esse. Needs to turn around, of course, though. So s. Uh, ich, meine Damen und Herren. However, aber. Heute sage es ich aber. Too many. So, zu uh, viele. Now, unhealthy. Gesund is healthy. So, ungesund is unhealthy. Adjective needs an E on the end. So, ungesunde Sachen. Unhealthy things. Um, and watch TV for hours. Now, Fernsehen, we're going to use Fernsehen, it's a separable verb. Und. Um, so, the Zeya will go at the beginning bit. So, Zeya, which agrees with ich. And then the Fern, okay, which is the other bit, will then be sent to the end. Let's put it over here, like so. And for hours, ladies and gents, is literally hours long, is Stunden lang. So Stunden lang. So heutzutage esse ich, um, aber, however, it's not translating but here. Uh, so however, nowadays, uh, I eat zu viele ungesunde Sachen, too many unhealthy things, unse Stunden lang, fern and watch TV for hours. So, ladies and gents, hopefully that's been of great help to you. Let's go through some of these other key phrases. Dad, so, some Glück. Fortunately, luckily, habe ich jetzt abgenommen. I have now uh, lost weight. So, abnehmen is to lose weight. Okay. That means to take weight off. Zu nehmen is to put weight on, all right? So, just bear that in mind. Und bin gesunder and more healthy. Right, Lida, unfortunately, is my Oma, is my grandmother, four drei Jahren, three years ago, gestorben died. Now, so gestorben, sterben takes sein, so when you translate that, you literally will go, uh, that would be treated as one word in English. So, unfortunately, my grandmother died, is gestorben, is died, four drei Jahren, three years ago. Deswegen, therefore, Will ich, so inversion, it says modal verb, will ich keinen Tropfen Alkohol trinken. Therefore, I don't, I want no drop of alcohol drink, literally. So in good English, I don't want to drink a drop of alcohol. Right, als er junger war, when he was younger, hat mein Vater, my father has, geraucht, so geraucht, past participle going to the end of the sentence there my father smoked sex bist acht cigaretten pro tag uh, six to eight cigarettes per day außerdem nevertheless besides findet er, findet er he finds cigaretten heute today zu teuer too expensive um, heute nimmt er aber drogen Und er ist auch Drogenhändler. Today he takes, however, drugs, and he is also a uh, um, uh, a drug distributor. A um, do you know my English slips? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Als ich in der Grundschule war, when I was in the um, primary school, so Grundschule is primary school, war ich immer aktiv. I was always active. Um, daher, therefore, 
bin ich geworden, I became, so werden is to become, so it takes sein, so it's bin ich, ich bin geworden, I became, yet now fett leibig is obese, fett leibig, obese. Okay. Okay, vor zwei Jahren, two years ago, habe ich viel Sport getrieben. I did a lot of sport. Ich war, I was, viel gesünder, a lot more healthy, als heute, than today. Okay. I still haven't worked out talking him in English. It's, it's a guy, it's, it's a person who, who sells drugs. You know, um, what do you call him? I can't even, blimey, it's weird. My mind's so into the German that I suddenly can't translate it into my own language. Terrible. Tschüss. On that note, great shame. Right. Uh, that, ladies and gents, uh, is uh, certain sort of things that you can use with it and the methodology explained over here. Uh, 